Good afternoon. This is the ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Friday, November 27th, 2015. Ah, so it's Friday. I have no Starbucks because I'm at the in-laws. I decided to go out for a walk. Uh, I'm feeling really good right now. I'm feeling really happy. I have won NaNoWriMo for the fifth time. Makes my record 5-0. Five, oh. five attempts and five wins. And that just feels really good that I got it done. Um, I had a massive writing day today. I'd love to know what my word count, what my like my words per minute is. I don't think that I should look and see if Scrivener's got that kind of stat. I don't think they do. I've been fairly consistent. as I write this thing, for the most part, in that my pace has been about 600 words in half an hour, give or take. That's been pretty consistent for me. So to do 1667 words, that's about hour and a half-ish. You know, so I have, I believe, had days where I've gone a little faster. I know I've had days where I've gone slower. But if I kind of feel like I'm on on a my typical pace, that's about what I am. Which puts me right now my total I believe is 51,624. Those last two are the two I'm not really sure of. I know it's 51,600 and something. Is where I ended up today. So this was a 2,500 word day uh, and change. There's some change in there. I didn't think it was that much. I think as I got close to the ending here that it got higher. I, got, I was because I was I got to the final the final confrontation and. And I just couldn't stop. And I knew I'd hit the word count. I actually had about a thousand words. I'd hit fifty thousand. I could have just stopped right there. But I wanted to do this, do a little bit more. And then it was I was like into the action. And so I think I was flying pretty good there. But I probably still wrote like fifteen hundred words in an hour. I'm gonna guess because I did my last session just right after lunch here and I got done, it was about 120, 130. This is probably about, so I've probably been writing about an hour. So 1,500 in an hour, yeah, 750 words in a half an hour. So I was going a little faster, a little faster, but not too much more. So yeah, it feels really good. It feels really good to get this done. I've spent just using my rate, it probably averages out uh, about a total of 86 hours this month writing. And that's been pretty special. Um, You know, I, I still have my doubts about this book, in all honesty. Although, although I still think it's got some interesting things in it. Um, and it was an idea I wanted to develop, and now I have. So I, I, I have enjoyed doing it. I've enjoyed the writing. It has been so long since I've done creative writing, and I miss it. 
I really did mess up. I kind of feel like doing nano this year is kind of like me, you know, sticking a stake in the ground, my flag in the ground, and and saying, you know, I'm back doing these creative things. You know, I had to put it on hold while I was in school. And, you know, I, I still aren't going to be able to do a, a ton of a, a lot going forward, but I can do some. I, you know, I get editing projects in mind. I actually have a production schedule in my head of what I want to do. Um, throughout December, I want to finish up, and it won't take that long, my last edits of the uh, Simon Snuffleburger. Uh, book. Uh, I've already gone through it twice. I'm just kind of going through it in Word. You know, to grab any of the obvious grammar slash spelling errors before I turn that over to the wife to add to her editing cue. And then I want to start editing Wayward Time. Um, the third book in the borrowed time chronology get that edited you know, might my, my, my goal with that one is to get that through my edits through the wife's edits because then in june when i'm or maybe even a little bit before depending upon how the schoolwork is going my last semester but at the latest at the end of you know uh, june mid-June is when I'm done I can start recording wayward time so I can get that up on patio books that's my thought process that's what I'd like to do and um, maybe some point after that after I get that done then probably editing this thing symphony of death And then <laughs> and then do nano again next year. Write something new. And then just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. So yeah. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, it's having a couple years off from doing this. Has really kind of uh, brought back how special it is. You know, it's not a long book. I, you know, I, I basically have, I think, just an encore scene I'm gonna write. It might be a little bit longer scene than my norm but I'm thinking I'm probably going to be 53 to 54,000 words. So another, let's see if I'm 53, that's only 1,500 words more than I have right now. You know, so it's not a huge book by any stretch of the imagination. And we had the daughter over for dinner like a week ago or something like that. And she made the comment that writing 50,000 words didn't sound hard. And I, I told her, you know, it's harder than it looks. I think I got a little jaded. You know, because I did it like three years in a row, and I, I fairly handily won it. And I, and I had a good idea of the story. And, you know, I very easily wrote 50 plus. I think Kilo came in at more than 60. I don't know if it was up to 70. I think Gorilla Paul was pushing 70. 
you know, so I think I got a little jaded there in that in that run where I was doing, I did three in a row there. So doing it again this year after a couple years off. And you know, having a story idea that, you know, switching gears so soon. One of the things that surprised me is, you know, I've always considered myself a pantser when it comes to writing. I had a, a very, I had a fairly clear idea when I did Gorilla Poet where I was going with that one. Um, stolen Time a little bit less so. Kilo, I actually had the basic structure locked down uh, before Nano. I mean, I had built what was in essence an outliner, an outline in in Y Rider, because that's what I was using. But I'd, I'd written out the sections. You know, here are the sections that are Kilo. Here are the sections of her and her training as Initiate One. Here are the sections of, you know, her, her life story growing up as Karen. So I had all those, I had all those laid out Pretty much, and then I just went, you know, with, with a brief, you know, couple lines synopsis of, okay, here's what I think I'm going to do in this one, and then it was just, you know, fill in those scenes, and that was felt like a departure for me, but I was kind of feeling like I was kind of feeling like I missed that a little bit this time. So I don't know if that means I'm, I'm kind of shifting to be a quasi outliner not sure what that means uh, something I'm gonna have to think about going into next year's nano um, I might want to get a little bit more but at the same time you know I still did get I still did get some feelings of discovery going along you know I, I had some things that have popped up you know I, in the past I've had things where an ideal strike me and it's so good that I'll kind of sit there and chuckle evil to myself as I consider the idea and the possible ramifications for the work I don't know that I hit that point with this book I've had times where I thought you know something has popped into my head and I'm like, oh that's good I'm gonna use that but I don't know that I've quite reached that I don't know, it's just a strange feeling. It's just a, this visceral tug in my gut that says, do this, this is good. And I don't know that I quite had that with this book in anything, but I, I, yeah. I think it flows together pretty well. I said it someplace different. I said it in St. Louis with a wee bit in Chicago. Um, the bits in Chicago are You know, they are set in the prison for the most part. So there's not a whole lot that uh, really needs to change there. Although it might be fun. I said it in Joliet Prison, kind of an homage to the Blues Brothers. It's not an active prison anymore, but it is in my world. But I sent the rest of it in St. Louis, and while I did reference some areas, I, I do need to do some research and make sure that, you know, the area that I portrayed is heavily industrial because I saw lots of train yards uh, via Google Maps, if that's accurate, things of that nature. Yeah, that's where I'll worry about that in edits. You know, I did some real quick research while I'm writing a novel, but not a, not a ton, not a ton. I had words to be writing, not research to be doing. So, yeah, it's kind of, kind of annoys me. I, sometimes my mind is, I just want to smack it. You know, I was really, I was honestly contemplating dragging this out to the 30th, at least finishing the book. I knew I was going to hit 50,000 before the 30th. 
And the reason for that is, you know, look at these badges this year. You do, you know, 5,000 words, you do 10,000 words, you get a badge. Well, they have a badge for reporting your word count 30 days in a row. And it's stupid. It's just freaking stupid. I've got all the other badges. I kind of wanted that one too. But it's just like, you know, <laughs> this is stupid. It doesn't mean anything. It's not like I'm going to get a little 30 days reporting bads that I can pin on my coat. It's just ridiculous. So I told my little competitive, whatever, portion of myself that just don't be stupid. Because as much as I've enjoyed this activity, there's another part of me that's thinking, I'm done tomorrow. I am 100% done tomorrow. And I like that. That sounds nice. The other thing I'm done with, I didn't mention this in the last podcast, is I'm done with my accounting class. He, elect, he allowed us, if we wish, to accept our grade after three tests. We had to do this little quiz and do well on it. And we had to turn in some homework for this one, you know, so these, uh, stuff from this, these two chapters. So the quiz for, was for one of the chapters and the homework was for another. Did the homework, took the quiz and aced it. It was easy. Homework was correct. He says, okay. You have an A. I mean, why would you not accept it? I had an A. It only go down. So I was out of there by about 7.15 Tuesday night. And I'm done. So all I have left is my finance class. Uh, I've got a, um, a final exam coming up in a couple of weeks that I need to be able to do. I would actually you know, I'd like to get like a, an A or maybe an A minus on it because that would pop me up. I think if I got a straight A, a solid A, that would pop me up into the A minus range for the class as a whole. But you know, these exams are wicked hard. They really are. For open book exams, it's like, oh my God. <laughs> They are the hardest I've ever dealt with. So, so yeah, yeah, I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like, uh, you know, I'm getting a little, little bit of my life back a little bit early going into the Christmas holiday. And as it is, I'll be doing the finance class by like the 12th. So, I get a nice long break at the end of December before starting on my penultimate semester, which I'll actually be registering for on Monday at the college. So yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this stuff wrapped up. And I'm excited that I wrapped up NaNoWriMo for 2015. Now I just gotta get home so I can print off the winner certificate I've got a frame mounted to the wall in the man cave that's all set to receive it. I'm looking forward to putting it in it and adding it to the other ones that are hung up on the wall in the man cave. And uh, yeah, I'll get, I will give you a sneak peek. You've got some videos coming soon from me. Instead of these audio, I've got a couple video apps coming your way a tour of the man cave and my loot crates waiting for me at home and uh, I think I'm gonna do an unboxing video for that one because I got no clue what's in it so it seems like a perfect thing to do an unboxing video of and I'll post it on YouTube and post links to all the usual places including on the blog so you can watch those things coming up. So, and then I'll go back to audio. I have no intention of doing video 
<laughs> as a normal medium. But anyway, I'm actually getting back here to my in-laws house. So, uh, and I'm probably much longer than usual on this, but that's okay. I felt like talking. I felt like rambling. I felt like walking. I have eaten a lot. I've been trying to be somewhat good, but I've probably still eaten more than I should. So I need to walk some of it off, but let's see. So today's Friday. I, uh, I think I'll be back tomorrow talking to you then. So be seeing you.